Right then, so um, this video is going to be a little bit skip around of nothing particularly interesting just because I'm at that stage where there's lots of jobs I'm kind of starting and getting on with and there's like sort of time waiting so it's kind of all boring stuff, cleaning bits, painting bits. Um, so yeah, my, what I'm trying to say is apologies for this video, it ain't going to be that interesting. Um, just a couple of jobs I'm going to kind of tick off. Um, but um, one of the main reasons, well, it, it was going to be the valve check video, um, and I, I think I'm going to do that as a completely separate video, and that will be checking the valves, and then if I need to do any valve adjustments, that as well. So it's going to be quite a long kind of focus thing. That's not something I'm just going to jump in and out of. That that'll be just like on its on its own probably. I think. Um, now I was going to check the valves today and film that but I'm not because what I'm going to do a few things have changed I'm going to carry on cleaning up the engine um, and I want to leave because obviously I've got the back wheel or the chain on or anything in order to get the cam lobes to move round normally I just see the back wheel stick it in gear but because I haven't got any of that on there I will drop the alternator um, cover off and then turning it on that side, so I'll show that. Um, but I do want to start taking that cover off whilst I'm still doing some fairly in-depth cleaning and spraying chemicals and scrubbing around and all that, so I'd rather keep the cases on. And also, I want to keep the cases on because once I've scrubbed and cleaned it and degreased it, I'm going to paint it, and I was going to just brush the clutch cover case and the alternator case and probably paint the, the, um, the valve cover case the, top, uh, the rocker cover. Um, however, I this morning just on eBay and there was a guy in Norfolk, not far away, selling um, brand new black wrinkle finish clutch cover, alternator cover, and the rocker cover. Um, three separate listings, best offers with a number. So I texted him, made him an offer on all three, and uh, he accepted it. So I'm going to, this afternoon to go and pick those up anyway. So I'm not going to go with the brushed chrome, um, which I'm kind of happy about because it's not my favourite. I, I do like a black engine. Um, I'm not keen on that chrome. It is a bit pitted as well. Um, so yeah, I just thought, ah, fuck, go for it. We'll do it. So I'm going to be taking all those off anyway um, as well. So it's, uh, yeah, yet again, it's taken another little twist and turn. But um, that's kind of made up my decision to do the main, like the, the, the fins and the main bulk of the engine in like a wrinkled black finish, um, might try some of the PJ1 stuff, um, now I've got those side covers on, um, so yeah, so a little bit more of a twist around, but anyway enough waffling, let's get on with the little bits and bobs I have done, and um, I'll probably round the video up uh, with um, a little drive along. So. Enjoy. Okay, whilst everything's off, I just figure I'm going to get stuck into everything really. And uh, whilst I was going through my boxes of bits, um, I found this, which is the uh, master cylinder kind of repair kit, if you like. Um, and um, that got me thinking, um, not that there was really anything wrong with this, but I've never really pulled the master cylinder um, plunger and seal and all the bits out of uh, out of this America um, and as the brakes having everything kind of overhauled on it kind of makes sense to have a play around up this end as well so the bit we're looking for is just inside here where the brake um, goes into the master cylinder and pushes in so I need to just whip off the uh, brake lever so that's just a flathead and a Guessing a 10 mil, and that'll come off. And then uh, we'll have a look. It, I don't think I'll probably have to replace anything. Um, might be a bit gungy up though. We can have a look, have a see, and uh, just yeah, it's uh, all a learning experience. I've never done it on one okay, of these. Bikes. Start off, so it's uh, yeah, 10 mil on the bottom. I mean, 
if anything, straight away, and I, it'd be nice to give all this a clean. It's gunky and pretty gunged up, um, a bit sticky. So, um, all good maintenance anyway. There we go. And you can see it a little bit more clearly there. So this is the, kind of like the bit that opens. So I'm going to pick up if you have a look down. Yeah. Down there. That kind of opens up your that hole there. See it moving? It kind of opens up your reservoir to pump the fluid through. Start just by pulling off the rubber boot. It's in there. And there's a little sewer clip in there. Actually, if I open up the kit, you can, uh, we can see what we're looking at. Okay, so there's your. Come on. There's your replacement rubber boot that we've just taken off. And then what we're looking at is the other side of the plunger there. Just got the spring. So yeah, there we go. So that there, that's this plunger, just on the sp got the spring on it. And then you got a little seal in there, and a washer, and then that's held in place by the sewer clip. So that's all the bits that are that are in there. So we need to get some sewer clip pliers. Hopefully, I've got some small enough to get in there. Well, I took a little bit of fiddling to get out, and the sewer clip's quite far down. And uh, so my circlip pliers that I've got wouldn't quite reach, so I had to do a little bit of uh, wiggling and jiggery pokery with various implements. But um, got the circlip out, don't know where it is, it pinged off somewhere in the shed. But um, that's pretty much what you get that comes out. Let's just uh, put that back in for you. So that all sits in there like that. And then that's it. So not an awful lot to it really, but um, it all looks good. But um, now I'm just wondering, as I've got it all apart, whether I might as well just put the uh, the fresh stuff. So back basically, in. that's the uh, that's what we we got that's come out. Um, so you've got see the washer, how uh, the circlip sits on top of that, and then inside of with got a little rubber grommet here. There's one just there. And the spring sits just on there. So I'm going to reassemble this one in the same way. So we got the one rubber grommet. I might get a bit of brake fluid just to make uh, the assembly a bit more fluid. Bit of a struggle getting that seal over. But then again, I suppose you huh, don't want it to be too easy, otherwise, it's going to let brake fluid out. There we go, that's that one looking pretty much the same as that one, minus the spring. It just sits on like that. That's pretty much it, so now what I do is uh, try and, uh, well, I'll give the, uh, give the actual Housing, oh, where is it? There we go. A bit of a clean up and uh, make sure that area in there is nice and clean. Oh, sorry, uh, shut. And then uh, reassemble it all. But um, I'm going to hang on to these bits because there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're not leaking or they're not not working like they should do. Okay, so there we go. That bit's in there now. Took a little bit of wrestling to get the old um, sewer clip in. Um, just put the new rubber in and. Um, Happy days. I'll then just clean up the the lever, re-grease it, clean the pin, give that a little bit of grease as well so it moves nicely. 
and uh, happy days. Lovely job. There we go. Actually, that does feel a hell of a lot smoother, the action. So, um, yeah, worth doing. Okay, then, so I've got to get uh, these exhaust studs out. The two on that side came out when the exhaust was coming off. Um, so, I'm going to replace them. It's given me the opportunity to replace them for some nice stainless steel ones. You can see these are uh, mild steel, rusty, horrid things. So, uh, might as well ch change them while I can. Um, so to get them out, I've just put two nuts on the end of the stud, and um, that one's a nylock, just because they, when you tighten these two nuts against each other, the nylock does tend to grip a little bit better. Um, and then I've just got a spanner on the back nut, and then with any luck, as I turn this one, um, that should bear against that nut, which should stay in place, and turn the whole stud out with it. So let's see if we're going to have any joy. There we go, two out. Nice and easy. Nice trip threads, both of them were uh, pretty straightforward. Um, so, happy days. So, God, it's mucky in there, isn't it? Get, get some deep cleaning done. Okay, so I'm moving on to a few other bits as well. Um, uh, where shall I begin? Well, on the back here, where the old mud guard had been and there were some washers that had scraped away a lot of the powder coat and uh, that was a bit rusty around there and um, they're probably going to be on display now so what I've done is just uh, mask up around those uh, keyed off the uh, the paint and just uh, giving it some primer yesterday so um, that'll be ready to get black on uh, and what I'm going to do is um, in order to just make life a bit easier and to make it blend in I've got this section here and I've got these nice kind of break points where the welds are here so I'll mask that and then just go over the whole of that bit uh, with the black so that will just, just make it kind of blend in a little bit easier. Um, I started sort of cleaning up the uh, the engine a bit because um, that was really really filthy just years of grime um, and started doing the, the front there um, still got a fair bit to do, getting into all the nooks and crannies, um, but I do think I am probably going to do, it's tough one, I want to do the engine black, um, probably won't do the side covers, um, just because I'm just going to flatten those off, um, but I think I'll do the majority of the engine black, I think that's just going to look better, um, and plus this kind of grey is just just old and tired um, but how I'm going to do it obviously I really don't want to start getting to the point where this is snowballing into more and more of a, a bit of a, a mammoth task I want to kind of try and keep the engine in situ so I'll probably mask and tape off quite a bit leave the frame and the engine in the frame mask and tape it all off um, cover up obviously I've taken off like there the inlets here so I'll block those up and the holes up, take all this kind of stuff off on the edge here. Um, and am I going to do the whole lot? I mean I might not do the lower section where we've got this kind of natural 
break in the casting from there down where you won't really see the engine anyway I think I might just leave uh, leave it that colour um, leave it the grey and just do black from here all up just freshen everything the barrels uh, and the fins and whatnot. Um, so yeah that's kind of the idea I'm playing around with um, hopefully that I might end up doing this section here as well um, and you don't really see that bit so that's going to be our natural break point down there so kind of a little bit weird but then this bike is going to be a little bit weird so um, but I'm just trying to now work out all these little jobs I've got to do time scales and um, a good order to do stuff in so I want to do obviously do the valve checks on this which may I'm erring on the side that I am going to have to do some valve adjustments um, so I think it's probably best if I'm taking the head off to start to kind of get the valve adjustments and all that done and then all this button back together again then do the paint I think that's uh, kind of thinking out loud as I go along but um, if anything though um, oh you'll notice I've taken the wire and loom out as well um, that's going to have a bit of tidying up done as well but um, yeah slowly but surely getting through there certainly getting a lot cleaner <laughs> right back to carbs I'm just going to gloss over this bit because I've done carbs a fair few times but um, so with the uh, airbox being eliminated the pod filters going to have to go up a jet size so I've gone f uh, for at the moment 150 main jets um, I thought I'd ordered 48 pilots um, I'm still getting I don't know it just felt like that that end of the pilot circuit when you're kind of starting up on an idle and whatnot I felt possibly a 48 would be better I think I was on two and three quarter turns out on the mixture screw and um, that's still on two and three quarter turns out so um, unfortunately I ordered uh, 45 so I've had to reorder another uh, set of 48s um, so I have two spare 45s now which is a bit, bit of a pain but there you go so I'll need to drop those in there next and then I'm going to just uh, shim the needles by one shim so that's my kind of base settings um, from looking around what looks like it should work uh, with the uh, exhausts and the pod filters 150 mains, 48 pilot jets two and three quarter screws out on the uh, mixture screws and stock needles with one shim underneath them um, so that's more for my reference than anything okay that's pretty cool I uh, after I just turned the camera off I went in and ordered some 48 pilot threats which turned up the following morning really really quickly so I can just whip those in and um, hopefully that's kinda 99.9% .9 of the carbs sorted um, might need some tweaking and twiddling but we shall see um, but yeah happy day so I just need to pop those in Sorted. Okay, so we're out here in deepest, darkest Norfolk in the middle of nowhere, and um, uh, the sat nav got me here. But uh, I've picked up the, um, the casing, so I'll turn the camera around and we'll have a, a little look at uh, what I've bought. Okay, there we go. There we are. The uh, rocker cover and the alternator cover are brand new. They've never, never been fitted at all to a bike. They are spanky new. Um, that has, I think, but I mean, that's in fine condition just needs a bit of a, a clean really a hundred quid for the lot um which i think if you look at the prices of how much these are um i think is a pretty good deal particularly you know including that are two absolutely well all three are mint 
but these ones just haven't even been fitted. And plus, I've probably got in the region of uh, six carrier bags uh, that they're all wrapped up in. And in the UK at the moment, a carrier bag's fetching around five pence. So six of those, do the math. So I think I've come out on top. Right, back home in one piece, got back okay. Um, just in the shed, I, thinking about it, I don't know that I am going to do the the checks tonight. Um, I might uh, just wrap it all up and then start afresh with doing the, the valve checks. Um, but um, certainly one thing I do want to uh, just show is um, some of the covers on the bike. I've just switched them over quickly, so I'll flip the camera around and show you. There we go. So straight off the bat already, I really like that. I mean, in fact, the grey almost doesn't bother me as much with a bit more black on there. Um, did just toy with the idea then of um, leaving it grey, but it's it's not brilliant. It's a bit tatty, so um, I mean the camera actually makes it look a lot nicer than it is in the flesh. But um, but yeah, no, I think we'll go all black. But um, yeah, straight off the bat, that's an improvement. There we go. That's just a quick one of the other side. And I actually prefer the clutch cover on this one. The uh, the America, I can't remember if the Speedmaster does, but it has this kind of circular affair on there. Whereas I do prefer the kind of nicely rounded look of that one. It's more Bonneville engine for me. Um, so yeah, happy days. And the other good thing is both gaskets are looking pretty good obviously this is a fairly new gasket uh, before I did the clutch that side I was worried about but that came off beautifully um, yeah yeah so I'm gonna call call this video sort of done now really I'm, I'm getting tired it's getting late in the evening I need to get this uploaded um, so yeah we shall start fresh again next week I think uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna do will be the valve clearances um, and then once that's done, start getting the engine painted and more another coat on the fork lowers and uh, and the front wheel. I know there's a bit of division on it, but I think that's going to go black. I think. I'm looking at it now across the room and now I'm thinking, that looks kind of quite nice. Hmm, we'll see. But definitely the forks uh, lowers will need doing. Um, and yeah. I kind of like the grey and black on the engine, but I think it, if the grey was in good nick, I'm, I might be tempted to leave it, but it could do with a clean up, I think. Cool beans, right, that's it. That is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and see you next one.